guys, welcome to the vlog, episode number three. I made it three days in a row. 30 vlogs in 30 days. Today I'm talking about food, my food. I'm about to have dinner. Today is whenever I fancy a burger. It comes from this place, Boutique Kitchen. So that is going to be my dinner. Very delicious burger and fries, but slider and fries. Quite yummy, right? Now some of you are going, what? You're not supposed to be eating that. Of course I'm supposed to be eating that. I mean, it's normal to be eating that. So I'm guessing, please excuse me while I eat my dinner, your first reaction is probably one of, ooh, you try to help people to keep fit and get them healthy and tell them what not to eat and you are being a hypocrite for eating exactly what you tell them not to eat. Well, here's why I think it's okay to have a burger and fries. Now, I'm not talking your over-processed, chemical-filled crap. I mean, if you're gonna have a burger and if you're gonna have a cheat meal, do it the right way. Have pure beef, you know, have real potato fries or wedges or whatever it is. I'm not talking about the McDonald's, the Wendy's, the Burger King, all of that crap. But why do I think it's okay to be eating a burger over here on my Saturday night? As well, because I think you need to find something that is sustainable for you. Every week or so, every weekend, there's probably one thing that I might be craving and I have it. This is life. Do PTs starve themselves all the time? No, they don't. If they're telling you they do, they are lying through their teeth, okay? We are all human. Every now and then, you want a burger and fries. Every now and then, you want a gin and tonic. Every now and then, you want a glass of Merlot. So, Yesterday I had a couple of mojitos. Today I'm having a beef slider with french fries. This, my friends, to me, is called balance. Please also note that I say every now and then, it is okay to do this. Having a burger and fries every day, no, I will not do that. There are some weekends where I do want something that's not as clean as what I would be eating most of the time. And there are some weekends where I don't even need it. I don't even want it. I don't need a burger. I'll have my salmon and broccoli or I'll have my chicken breast and salad. Sometimes, you know, the craving's there. Sometimes it's not. Every now and then. Not every day. Also, the fact that I do train, I do train fairly hard, and I'm eating clean for the majority of the other times. But I'm not going to beat myself up over one beef slider and a small portion of french fries once a week. That is not what's going to get you fat. What's going to get you fat is if you don't exercise enough, you take in all the calories, don't expend them. And I keep saying, you know, what you're trying to fix now is not because of what you did yesterday. It's the product of years. That is what it is, you know? You kept going, kept eating, kept stacking on the calories year after year after year after year after year. Then you come in and you go, right, I've been eating clean for one week, so now I should be losing weight. No, you've gained 10 kilos in the space of past five years. Don't expect to lose it in one week. And on that note, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for mm, vlog number four tomorrow. Happy long weekend, guys. Here's another thing to think about. Find a method or a way that is sustainable. That way, you're much likely to stick to it for much longer than something that is nowhere near to what you would normally do that you stick to for one week and then have a complete meltdown. Find something that is sustainable and suited to your lifestyle. This burger totally hit the spot.